This question was asked in interviews for technical jobs, and unfortunately, yours truly was on the wrong end of such an interview. You have the option to throw a die up to three times. You will earn the face value of the die. You have the option to stop after each throw and walk away. The earnings are not additive, meaning you will only get your last throw. Assuming optimal play, what is the expected payoff of this game? Give this problem a try, and I'll present the solution in 5 seconds. We have 6 possible outcomes that are equally likely, so the probability of each will be 1 over 6. Mathematical expectation is defined as the sum of the product of each outcome with its respective probability. So we'll have to multiply 1 by 1 over 6 and then add 2 times 1 over 6 plus 3 times 1 over 6 and so on. The result will be 3.5. So the expected payout for a single roll is $3.50. But we have up to 3 rolls. So how do we decide whether to re-roll or keep our value? If we roll a 1, 2, or 3, then this suggests we're unlucky because we got something less than the mathematical expectation. But if we got a 4, 5, or 6, then we're lucky because we got something higher than 3.5. So in the first case, we should definitely roll again because we would expect something better next time. But in the second case, we should definitely stop because mathematically, we expect things to get worse. So let's not risk losing money. With this information, we can see that we have a 50% probability of rolling again and a 50% probability of keeping our roll because we have 3 out of 6 outcomes in each set. If we roll again, then we expect a return of 3.5. But if we keep our roll, then our expected return is 5. This point is a source of confusion for many people. And I understand why, because I'm one of them, to be honest. If you want to understand it better, think of the realm of keeping as something separate. Think of it as its own event, with three possible outcomes. 4, 5, or 6. This is our sample space within the realm of keeping. So, the expectation is the middle term because the three outcomes are equally likely. So, if we compute e of x, we'll get 5. With this information, can we now calculate the expected payout for a two-roll game? We know that we have a 1 in 2 chance of re-rolling, where the expected return will be 3.5, and a 50% chance of keeping, where the expected return will be 5. So, for a two-roll game, overall, the expected payout is one-half times 3.5 plus one-half times 5, and that'll be 4.25. So, the expected payout, overall, for a two-roll game, is $4.25. But wait a minute. This tells us that we have to revise our strategy on the first roll. Let's go back. We said that on the first roll, we would assume that a 1, 2, or 3 would be unlucky, whereas a 4, 5, or 6 would be lucky, because we would expect a 3.5. Anything less is unlucky, anything more is lucky. But we have up to 3 rolls in this game. So after the first roll, we have up to 2 more rolls. We know that the two-roll game has an expected payout of $4.25. So this means in a three-roll game, if we get a four on the first roll, then this is actually unlucky and not desirable anymore because the expected payout is 4.25, which is greater than four. Here's the reasoning. If you have up to three rolls, then a 4 on the first roll is considered undesirable because by re-rolling, 
you would be entering the two role game, which as we've established, has an expected payout of 4.25. So you're better off re-rolling and entering this two roll game than keeping the four. So this changes our calculation. So now we should roll again if we get a one, two, three, or four. And we should only keep our roll if we get a five or six. So the probabilities change now. We have a four out of six probability of rolling again, and a two out of six probability of keeping our roll. If we re-roll, as we said, we would be entering the two roll game with an expected return of 4.25. But if we keep our roll, the expected return is 5.5. For exactly the same reason we mentioned earlier, we have a five and a six, equally likely, the expected value will be the midpoint, 5.5. So can we now calculate the three roll game expected payout? In a very similar way, we'll multiply four out of six by 4.25, and then we'll add two out of six times 5.5, and that'll give us 4.6666, so 4.6 repeating. So the expected payout for the three roll game is $4.67. Could you figure it out? Now, can you think of a way to generalize this for any number of tosses, any number of throws? So for example, if you had up to four throws or five throws, I think the solution we presented lends itself to some sort of algorithm, which makes it easy to generalize this. So let me know in the comments if you have a general method to approach such a problem or something else. If you have an alternative, do let me know. I'm interested to see what you guys got.